So are you thinking about moving to Winchester, Virginia, where you're probably gonna wanna know all the pros and cons of living in Winchester? So let's get right into the video and talk about the pros and cons of living in Winchester. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Chris Colgan. I am a real estate agent here in the state of Virginia. If you're thinking about buying, definitely text me at the number below. But the number one pro, my favorite part, is the downtown or old town Winchester. There is just so much to do there. There's all kinds of outdoor dining, outdoor shopping, you can pretty much walk around. I think this town goes back to like the 1700s. So it's got all kinds of historic things to do. It's just a really beautiful spot. People travel from all around the country just to check it out. I've been there plenty of times like shopping and there was like a vintage Grateful Dead clothing store next to the post office, next to a restaurant. And there's just people walking around and people had their dogs out and everything. So I really love it. But that downtown historic area, if you wanted to live somewhere where you could just walk around, I definitely would consider that part of Winchester, which is a huge place. Pro. Another huge pro is education. The schools in Winchester are highly rated. This place has honestly probably the nicest high school I've seen. It is a lot older, but it is a beautiful school. You can see here on the video, the different shots of it. And then there's also Shenandoah University where a bunch of my friends went to college. So it's an awesome little college there. And that has a beautiful campus. But like I said, on niche.com, all the schools have high ratings. They are extremely popular. And a lot of my out of town clients that watch the YouTube have gone there and they've said their kids have really liked the school. So like I said, really highly rated and popular schools, which is a huge pro. All right, let's talk about outdoor activities. Obviously, you look at me and I scream hiking and bodybuilding and all that. Obviously, I don't. But if you're into outdoor activities, that is a huge pro. You can go hiking up the Shenandoah Mountains or you can go over to Luray Caverns and go biking or you can go over into West Virginia and do some kayaking, pretty much whitewater rafting, anything you want. The outdoor activities there are endless. It is extremely beautiful because you got the mountains all around or if you're into biking and just being outdoors, that is a huge plus. I remember around 4th of July, I was out there and there was all kinds of the American flags out everywhere. Just a really beautiful area. So one of the best places to do outdoor activities for sure. And then also apple picking is extremely popular. It's kind of known as like the apple capital of the United States. So apple picking is extremely popular as well, which is a huge pro. But let's talk about that, right? There's this thing that comes around called the Apple Blossom Festival and they have a parade, all kinds of different events. And there's just plenty to do and that is another huge attraction that brings in I would imagine thousands upon thousands of people they usually have a celebrity that comes out you know and ends up being the grand marshal and I'm not talking you know Brad Pitt or something but it's obviously some sort of big celebrity and they have athletes that come out and they do all these dinners and breakfasts all kinds of different things but that is hugely popular in the area and that is definitely a big pro all right so another huge pro is going to be housing affordability the houses there are actually a lot more affordable than when if you get into closer into northern Virginia like into DC. I think the average sales price is somewhere around 370,000, but you can get a lot of new construction homes from four to 600,000. And, you know, of course, all the way up into the millions, but you can also get a smaller single family near the mountains for 300,000 or a brand new townhouse for 350,000. There is just all kinds of different housing options. It is one of the more affordable places around the Virginia area. I will say too, it was recently ranked as one of the best places to retire. And one of the reasons is it's because of the affordability. And by the way, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere in Virginia or anywhere in the country for that matter, we would love to help you. Most of our clients come from this YouTube channel, like viewers like you, so definitely subscribe as well. But unfortunately now let's get into the cons of living in Winchester. All right, so let's talk about some of the cons. Number one complaint I hear about Winchester is going to be nightlife. There's no like clubs or something that you would see in DC, certainly in Winchester. So if you're a young person in your 20s and you're looking for a place that you're gonna be able to go out and have some night light and stay out till two o'clock in the morning. Winchester is probably not going to be the best place, but you know what? If you're somebody who wants a quieter setting and you're not looking to go out till midnight and party, then Winchester would be great. But definitely a big con can be there's just not a lot of nightlife. Another con would be public transportation. More than likely, you're going to need to own your own vehicle there. There is some public transportation, but Uber and all that obviously we know can get super expensive, but there's no like metro system or, you know, public railway or anything like that that you you can ride around the city. There's plenty of options, like I said, and you can certainly walk around if you live in the downtown area, but you know, there's just not a lot of public transportation. So you definitely will need a vehicle if you live in Winchester, because more than likely you're gonna be driving somewhere else for a job if your job's not in Winchester, obviously. So in some of the towns, like if you start to go out toward Fairfax, Virginia, or Herndon, Virginia, or Loudoun County, you certainly are gonna need a car for that. And there's not gonna be really any public transportation options. Another con that I would say about Winchester is it's located right off 
off Route 81, and there is just a ton of trucks coming through there, a ton of traffic, and it is always busy. So the traffic in Winchester can honestly get pretty bad, believe it or not, from where it's placed. You wouldn't think it would be, but the traffic there can be a big con, along as the weather here in Virginia is another big con that I hear people complain about. I lived in Virginia my whole life. I'm kind of used to it, but obviously in the winter, it can get really cold here. We get some snow, and of course, everything shuts down. Everybody freaks out. We do have some beautiful springs, but then in the summer, it gets extremely hot here. And then in the fall, it's beautiful. Like right now, it's the fall. It's nice out. We're going to go head over to Skyline Drive earlier and go check out all the fall leaves. So there's plenty to do there, but a con can be the traffic and the weather for sure in Winchester. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you're thinking about moving to Winchester, definitely text me at the number below or email me at info at colganteam.com. We would love to be your real estate agent of choice. And as always, I'll see you at the top or from the top.